What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another video, but today I'm really, really excited guys. Um, estoy bien emocionado. Y todo es porque voy a empezar algo nuevo. Y tú sabes que cuando tú empiezas algo nuevo, tú estás super alegre. So I'm really excited guys because I can't wait to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, I'm doing another build. Uh, build. So for my babies, for all my frags, and so I can get more corals. You know how it is in this hobby. Um, you, always, you always want more. So I can't wait to show you guys this setup that I'm doing. It's been a long time. Hace tiempo que tengo ya esta pecera. So ahora que voy a empezar a meterle mano para ustedes. Para mantener ustedes ahí contentos con mucho contenido. Um, pero lo que les voy a enseñar ahora mismo es algo um, que I've been having for a while. About a long time ago. Um, like I said, my corals, they're growing too much. So I have to get this tank. And it's a frag tank, guys. So let me walk through you guys with you guys and show you guys what I'm gonna bring to this channel and I just so excited because I can't wait to see how my corals they're gonna um they're gonna grow out at my frag tank so stay tuned guys and let me show you what I got for you guys so I'm back guys there you have it guys this is my new setup this is um 60 gallon frag tank um the company that made this tank is um this company right here sepora what i heard from my lfs you can get this tank anywhere right now i don't know if they're out of stack but this company is being business for over 30 years that's how much i know um but yeah, this is what I got. I should have go a little bit bigger, but I think I'm happy with it. I just can't wait to stop putting water in this thing, guys, and stop putting corals. So I'm gonna tell you, this is a 48 by 24 by 12 high, and it got the overflow box right in the corner, which is, I like that. I should have go with the, Rainless tank, but it was more money. Um, this is not a show tank, you know. I thought I'll go, but you could sell your baby's meal, entending? So, this is not something that, that I'm gonna have it for so everybody to well, you guys are gonna be seeing it all the time because I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be growing corals in here, but it's, it's not like a show tank. I should go rainless, but it was more money. Real top price for this is like three hundred and twenty-five dollars, which is is not that bad. Esta pecera cuesta three hundred and twenty-five. Este frac tank three hundred and twenty-five. Real top price. Yo hubiera ido y hubiera conseguido la que no tienen el plástico aquí. Rinlabs, le llaman rinlabs. No sé cómo se dice eso en español. So, <clears throat> but costaba un poquito más. So esto por el precio. 325 no estaba mal. Estos son más que 60 galones. And I, can, I think I can grow some pretty cool acros here. And it's not going to be only acros. It's, I'm going to be having more stuff. But let me walk through you guys to the tank and what I'm going to be doing. You know, um, right now, let me show you guys. So check this out, guys. This is a. Uh, uh what's this uh two by four two by two or twelve by two no twelve by twelve i don't remember anyway so this is a uh egg crack and look at what i did guys see the little pvc so this is like a half an inch i just got some pvc and i just glued it to the egg crack so lo pegué ahí porque esto va a estar aquí medio así en la pecera 
So, yo, la manera que yo lo hice así es porque the way, the way that I did it, like that, because I'm going to have rocks, guys. Yes, I'm going to have some rocks, like a branch, branch rocks from Car Caribbean Sea, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm going to get those Caribbean, they look kind of purplish. Tienen un color como púrpura, que ya supuestamente tienen bacteria, pero yo no creo nada en eso. I don't believe in that. To me, when dry rocks, dry rocks, there's nothing alive. It's dead. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to, with Caribbean sea branch rocks, and I'm going to be placing it up here. I'm going to make another one of this, and it's going to be in this side right here. So that's my plan, guys. So I'm going to have rocks. Plus, I'm going to have all this so I can put the um, frack blocks, which is, I got one right here. Let me show you guys real quick. Uh, where is it? The way I did it like that is because when I place this, if you place the egg crate, if you place the egg crate just flat, it's difficult to put those blocks right in the hole. So right now, it's elevated. You see what I'm saying? Kind of elevator is. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, plus I can get flow under there for any of the triters and stuff like that. Así le pasa el agua por abajo y puede circular bien y recoger toda la porquería que, you know, porque yo voy a tener pescado aquí también. Yes, guys, I'm gonna have fish in here too. So, like that, you can get flow under the egg crate. So, I'm gonna have two with rocks. And yes, I just want to share that with you guys. This is what I made. It came out really nice, you know. And like I said, I just can't wait to put water, guys. For flow, I'm going to be having two narrow three. I think this pump that push a lot of water. That's what I heard. This is my first time giving AI a shot narrow three see up to 2,000 gallon per hour that's a lot so I can wait plus you can program this with my lights up there there is the same same uh, app you can use the same app so you can program this pumps I can wait so esta, esta pompa se pueden programar con las luces con la aplicación que yo tengo para la luz allá arriba en la pecera de 90 galones. Solo no puedo esperar para poner esto y empezar. So yo tengo dos. I got two guys. There's one here and that's the other one that I already installed. Let me take this. This is my little um, reef to reef. How cute that look, huh? So yes. So yes, guys. So and that's gonna and that's what I'm gonna be using for flow. Um, that's it. The stem that you guys are looking at right now, I built that stem too. Like I said, I did. I, I built this stem a long time ago, and I should have made the stem a little bit higher, guys. Uh, for me, it's too short because I ended up building this some too, guys. Yes, I'm coming up with. Um, I just ended up building this some myself. This is a 40 gallon breeder, and. It's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to get in there when I need to take the protein skimmer. This is where the protein skimmer is gonna go now. And the sum that I got upstairs, I got the protein skimmer in this section right here. But this section right here, I'm gonna have my refugium. And the way my refugium is, I'm gonna build my refugium this time is gonna be different. So stay tuned because I'm gonna make a video of that too. Um, for return pump, which is, and I'm gonna be using that one forever because I got all the plans. Tengo otro planes, mi gente, yo no voy a usar eso. Esta pompa, yo no la voy a usar eso por ahora para poner este sistema a correr. I wanna have this system running already. Um, so, this is the, uh, that pump right there. This is the Javo. You know, I'm a huge fan of Javo. They cheap, the product, they kind of cheap, so, Por los precios que ellos tienen, uno no se puede quejar. 
This is not top of the line, but it worked for me. So, I got the control and everything. So, que tú puedes controlar el flow, okay? So, yes, it's right here. So, I ended up doing this plumbing. Last night, I went to bed late doing all this plumbing, guys. So, I ended up doing, building all the plumbing. I did the plumbing. I ended up put a check valve here. I hope I pronounced it right, guys. You know what I'm talking about. This is right here. I got another one. And this is good to have it right above your return pump because when you feed your fish and you turn the pump, what this do is stop the water to come down, okay? Stop the water to come down. So that's a plus. Every system that I do, I always have a check valve. So... Esto para el agua, si sí, si sí, hay un problema, no se sobrellena el sump, ok? Y le hago un reguero. Um, but, yes, guys, this is my bill. For protein skimmer, let me show you guys. I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna, I'm thinking buying another protein skimmer, something bigger. I'm thinking like going with um, reef octopus, guys. So, I think I'm gonna go with Reef Octopus, and but that's not now. This system's gonna be running by itself. I got some other plans, guys. So for now, I'm gonna be using this protein schema right here. And this is this protein schema was my first protein schema when I, I started in the hobby, guys. And this is a PSK 100. I think it's ready for 100 gallon. This is the e shop. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna put it here and just give it a shot, why not, you know? It's sitting in my garage, might as well use it. So lo voy a usar, este porten skimmer lo tengo yo de cuando yo pensé el, en el Javi. Y estaba tirado en el garaje, lo saqué, lo limpié y lo voy a poner aquí para empezar a correr. Pero tengo otro proyecto más que viene por ahí porque aquí, el, aquí entre medio va a haber otro porten skimmer que va a ser más grande que el que tengo allá arriba. It's gonna be rated for more water. The more water you have, guys, the more water poly you got, you have, you require a bigger protein skimmer. I, I, I suggest if you jump into this habit, get something that ready for more gallon for your money. Cause you never know if you're gonna upgrade to another tank. You know what I mean? So. That's my recommendation. So, esa es mi recomendación, mi gente. Si se va a comprar un Protein Skimmer, compren algo que sea más de la cantidad de agua que ustedes tienen. Ok? So, another thing, guys. And this is my favorite part because uh, the light that I'm using on my 90 gallon upstairs where I grew on all the big acros and stuff like that. The LED lights, guys. This one I'm gonna be using T5. You see that? Four bowl T5. And I got two aqua elimination primes. You see those? I have two in the middle. Okay? And the way, because they don't sell a kit to put those lights. So if you see, I hang it up with C type. So I ended up doing some. DIY and tie them up with C tie. And it worked out pretty good. It's not going nowhere really tight there. And let's see how that works. But my thing is the T5. I never grow aqua with T5. And everybody say that when you grow coral with T5, the color, the pop more, you get better coloration. So, vamos a ver si es verdad. De lo que gente la dice, dicen, pero todo lo que yo pensé que yo he visto, I think it's to be true. Because T5, you know, the core of the girl even better. That's what they say. But I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know what's going to happen with T5 from five years from now. They might not, they might not make no more ball, ball T5, you know what I mean? But I just want to do something different. I got a I got a part meter, so I will do some part reading 
to see what's uh you know what's the part and another thing guys the I just can't wait to just start this build. Um, I'm just gonna start adding water to this thing. I got my salt over there sitting down. Plus, I got this fish tank is gonna be connected to my apex. Look, I got the uh, energy bar here too. So I'm excited, guys. Like I say, and I just can't wait to see what parts. The thing about T5, what I heard, it's just like um, they don't have the shimmer. It's just flat. They don't, no tienen el efecto de disco. Esta luce. Pero como esta la de la luce la T-Files. Pero como yo tengo dos AI Prime. Let's see what happens. You see what I'm saying? And then I might get a little bit shimmer in the tank. So that's it, guys. And another thing that I want to mention. So if you see those plumbing, let me go to the side. You see back there, I don't know if you can see it, guys. Uh, let me see. Uh, you see that right there? So I made this plumbing because my plan is connect this tank to the one upstairs. Yes, I want to connect this to the one upstairs. And I already started doing the plumbing. Look at the plumbing, guys. It's going, it's behind this wall going up go to the second floor i'm in the basement so so yes that's my plan and like i said that's why i said this is i'm not going to be running this forever my jbo 12000 is going to go here and i hope i hope you know that's that'll be enough enough to reach all the way to the top um, so, por eso que yo dije que esta pompa no va a estar aquí, porque aquí va a estar la Jabo 12,000 que yo tengo en arriba en la pecera, y ojalá que esto sea bastante para empujarle el agua hasta arriba. So, let me show you guys real quick something before I end this video, because I don't want to keep talking, but I just can't wait to stop adding water to this thing. And as soon as I add water, I'm gonna add corals. No fish for now, it's gonna be coral. That's gonna be, I'm gonna do an update soon. Cause tonight I'm gonna to start adding water to this thing, guys. But let me show you guys how the fish tank look with the light on. You know what, let me show you guys real quick right here. So I got my lighting connecting reef bright. Oh, there you go. T5. All right, guys. Look at how beautiful. So that's how it's gonna look. I just came away, guys. So that's how it's gonna look, guys. See that? So that's it guys for this video. I love you guys so keep showing me support. Lo quiero mucho a todo el mundo que you know, me ha enseñado cariño en mi canal, pero va a seguir hacia adelante a hacer más videos. I'm going to keep pushing forward to make more videos for you guys. But that's it. I just want to wrap it up and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to start adding corals. Corals is going to go in here first. As soon as I have water, check my salt, salinity, make sure everything's correct, and boom, start adding corals, guys. So that's it, guys. I love you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.